Hi, my name is Dave Delvis and I welcome you to this tutorial where we are going to talk about how to install Jupyter Hub on AWS EC2. Now, when we talk about Jupyter Hub, it's a multi-user container friendly version of Jupyter Notebook. And I hope that you've interacted at one point with Jupyter Notebook. And um, AWS EC2 provides a uh, scalable computing capacity uh, in Amazon Web Services Cloud. So um, we are going to see how you can be able to uh, work or set up Jupyter Hub on AWS EC2 instance. Now, uh, I will like to note that um, Jupyter installation can be complex to set up and um, they can be even more complex to manage, uh, mostly when you have a big data science team. But uh, if you need a quicker solution for your team, then I would be able to advise Saturn Cloud. Now, Saturn Cloud hosted organization or Saturn Cloud Enterprise will uh, get you going right away. Saturn Cloud uh, makes your life or your data science life in the cloud very easy and swift. And I would really, really recommend uh, you going to it. Now, back to our tutorial. When we talk about installing Jupyter Hub, we have two options. The first one is zero to Jupyter Hub, and the second one is the littlest Jupyter Hub. Now, Zero to Jupyter Hub is a multi-node version of Jupyter Hub, which is based on Kubernetes. And uh, the latest Jupyter Hub is just a single node version of Jupyter Hub, which means that we have one instance and all your team members are sharing the resources which are being provided by this instance. Now, you can think that, uh, or you can... Um, it, it's very clear that uh, there's some challenges to these, mostly when the team is big and they, they uh, deplete the resources of this instance. So we will have uh, some kernels crashing because of the de depleted resources. But before that, then it's, it's the good, it's the better option to go with. Now, and today in our tutorial, we are going to set up the littlest Jupyter Hub in AWS EC2 instance. So um, let's get started right away. Um, so the first step is we go to um, AWS console. So AWS, I will type in AWS cloud console. And um, uh, we sign in to the console. Now for me, it uh, goes directly into my account, and uh, but you can sign in as a root user, and it's very easy to sign in. So after we have, um, we are in the console. We will search for EC2 services. EC2 services. Uh, click on EC2 services, and um, on the left uh, panel click on instances and you, as you can see that I don't have an instance which is running so we will launch a new instance and on it we will be able to set up Jupyter Hub. So the first step is to uh, give it a name then I'll name it uh, Jupyter Hub tutorial name it the name that you like and um, the second one is uh, the second step. The second step is I will choose Ubuntu and uh, and then we will go to the instance type. Now I will advise you or I will recommend that before you choose the instance type, make sure that you know uh, the cost of uh, the type of instance that you are choosing. Or I will recommend that uh, you go to Jupyter Hub Jupyter Hub. I think they have a guide how to. Um, I think uh, uh, they have how to. I'm sorry, I've 
lost that link, but it's on their documentation. You can be able to see how um, they have how to be able to know what type, what capacity you need and how to calculate so that you can know the instance type to choose. For me, I will choose the free tier, um, the one that's being uh, provided for free. And the next is the key pair login. So on the key pair login, uh, you can select an existing uh, key or you can be able to create a new one. So on this side, you can be able to create a new one. And I would recommend that when you create a new one, make sure you download it and uh, keep it safe somewhere where you can get it. Uh, for me, I have an existing key that I used, which I named the Jupyter Hub tutorial key. So I will choose it. And then on network setting, uh, this is where we will be able to set how to access our our instance now you can either create a new security group or you can select an existing security group if you have one so i will allow ssh traffic and allow https traffic from the internet and also allow the uh, http traffic from the internet so that is it and um and uh, then we will be able to configure the storage for me i will go with uh, uh, the storage the one that is provided so on the storage uh, i have chosen the default one and then we proceed to advanced settings now in this step we will be able to uh, provide a command script that will be able to install jupyter hub so we will go directly down to user data and uh, here i will um i have this command written here so i will copy it uh, copy the command and uh, come and um, paste it. Now on the admin user, I will um, write the name of the admin, it's Elvis, and uh, that is it. So this command uh, runs when we launch our instance and then the installer script will be able to install Jupyter app on our instance. So we have everything and now I will be able to launch the instance. Um, it's creating the security group faster. Nice. So uh, our it's successful. It has launched the instance. And when you click on this link, it will take you to uh, the uh, console of EC2 and then we will see that we have our instance here we have our instance we named it Jupyter Hub tutorial and it's pending because uh, the state is it's, it's running and it's up and running it's up and running nice so we have our instance up and running up and running and we said that uh, when our instance will be up and running, then we will have the installer script, uh, in uh, the, the script installing Jupyter Hub. So to be able to see that, we will copy this public address and um, copy it to the browser. And so we'll copy it to the browser and we run it. And as you can see, it's running and uh, it's the message is please wait while you are uh, the littlest Jupyter Hub is setting up. So nice. So it will take some time to run and uh, I will pause the video until um, it sets up. So it will take some time to run and we'll be back. Yes, so I'm back and uh, as you can see that there's some error, uh, it's a 404 error, not found. Now, uh, most of the time, uh, Jupyter Hub will render this, uh, but you can be able to, but it has successfully installed and you can be able to now, uh, with the same um, public IP address, you will just add, uh, 
just add HTTP and some IP address and it will be able to come live so you will just add http slash slash then the ip address slash and it will be able to come now we have to input the username the username is elvis uh and then the password the password just uh let me put the password and right so uh one thing that i should note is um the installer script that we did uh, put back then, you can be able to modify it so that you can be able to add passwords and you can be able to add additional admin users and also install packages. But you can also forgo that and add here. And when we sign in, uh, Hooray, we are in, and this is Jupyter Notebook. You can be able to create a notebook here and yeah, do all kind of things. So we have successfully um, successfully installed Jupyter Hub, uh, the littlest Jupyter Hub in AWS EC2 instance. And every time you launch this instance, then the Jupyter Hub will be up and running. So that is it. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.